Hi. One of the things that we have to learn to deal with when we're doing experiments is the fact that nothing is perfect. Even though we can try to control everything, still we're going to end up getting a variety of different numbers. So in this first activity, we'll be learning about how to handle that. Well, since nothing is perfect, um, two important words that we have to deal with first is accuracy and precision. So take a look here at this target, and here are where some arrows or gunshots hit, right there. And when we're looking at that, uh, the first thing we might want to say is that, wow, those are really off target, or we might say, those are really not accurate, okay? And when we use language like that, what we mean is, it's not where we would like for it to be, okay? It's not where we would like for it to be. So it's way over there, all right? Now, let me get rid of that. Okay, now, the uh, thing is, if we had a gun, what we could do is we could make little adjustments to the sights and we could correct this. So that then we might get something like this. Okay, and that's great. Okay, that's what we'd really like to have. All right. Here's another situation that we could have. You'll see these now are off target just like before, but they're a lot more spread out. And so what we need to do is we need to be able to say, okay, to the center of this data, okay, it's still off, it's still not there, all right? But we could uh, adjust our sights again, do some little tweaking here and there on our gun, and then we end up with uh, something that looks like this, okay? Now, it's still spread out a lot, which uh, creates kind of an interesting situation. So here are the things that can happen. We have accuracy and we have precision, all right? Uh, accuracy is how near the mark it is, okay? And precision is a word that helps us explain how spread out things are. So in example A, Things are nice and tight. The date is all right in a bunch, and it is on target. Over here in B, um, it's tight, it's in a bunch, but it's not where it ought to be. It's moved um, somewhere else. In C, that is on target, but it's all kind of spread out, all right? And then finally D, uh, not only is it spread out, but it's, off the target, okay? So that's a problem. So if we're going to judge the quality of this data, we would say A looks like the best quality and D looks like the worst quality. Now, one of the challenges that we have with experimental data is we don't really have a target out there to hit. So we can't always say something about how accurate our data is, but we can talk about how precise it is. Now, in order to illustrate that, uh, you're gonna do this lab, all right, here where you'll be dropping a ball, it'll go down, it'll bounce and come back up, but it won't come back up as high. There'll be some difference there, okay? And the reason for that is that when the ball hits the ground at a certain speed, it bounces and comes back up, but those two speeds are different and they're related by the coefficient of restitution, okay? We can actually use the heights that we drop it from and that it bounces back to as a way to calculate the coefficient of restitution. So when you do your experiment, you're going to be dropping the ball 
and uh, <laughs> literally dropping the ball um, and getting different uh, values for the coefficient of restitution. And that's going to give us an opportunity to talk about how we quantify precision, how we talk about how close together our data is. So you are ready to go on to the next lesson, which is about air distribution. I'm gonna get a little jiggy here. Hope you don't mind.